this is officially my home track. It's where I was born and raised. You're just around it so much that it's home to you. You feel like it's your backyard. It's where you're most comfortable at. He was mesmerized by the drivers, I think, like most kids are. So I would always see a lot of enthusiasm from that standpoint. But even when he was a very young child and when he would travel to the tracks with us, he always had his die-cast cars and he was always putting on his own races and own events. I think as much as it is in my blood, you know, originally, it, it's been ingrained in my blood even more growing up and, and being around it. You can almost describe it as a small obsession. It was a requirement in our family that you did work and that you experienced different parts of it. He sold programs before. Um, he's worked in the sign shop. He's worked on the maintenance crews. Doing all those different odd jobs, uh, you have so much more respect for it. It was a good way uh, for him to earn some money. Anytime that you can have a, some type of reward for hard work like that, I think it's really good. He's had some very good upbringing. Very good people, down-to-earth people, common people just like we are. He presents himself well, and he conducts himself very well. And that's a product of being raised with the people he's been raised with. I raced go-karts for about two years. I didn't really want to do it at first, and then I got in it, and I got addicted to it right off the bat. Next thing you know, we were buying a quarter midget and we raced for two years. From that moment on, you could totally see it right then and there. That's exactly what he wanted to be doing. And he had so much fun with that. And he's had fun at the different stages of his career. Oh, we've got to spin, turn four. Kale Conley's going to hit the wall. That will mean that the founding family of NASCAR will get back to victory lane with Ben Kennedy. How about that? And boy, does that young man deserve it, too. I just had to sit there for a minute in the race car and just sort of soak it all in and understand what had actually happened. They, they asked me to get out. I was just like, hold on one second. Let me understand that I just won uh, a NASCAR race. Series East win. It's a big thing. We were the fastest car in practice, sat on the pole, led every lap of the race, and you've never seen anybody. I, I think if he had won the Daytona 500, he couldn't have been any happier. I've never heard him so happy. It definitely gave me confidence and made me realize that I want to take this next step into the into the Truck Series. The Truck Series teams use this first day of testing for both single car runs and drafting. The highest speed in the morning session was set by Ben Kennedy at more than 182 miles per hour. It wouldn't surprise me if we could win Daytona. When you get out here and you draft for the first time and you're the fastest truck, it says a lot about your, your drive and ability. I just want the results to prove for themselves. I've always been a dedicated person when it comes to something, and I think commitment to the sport is, is a big part of, you know, success. I am proud of Ben as a driver, but I'm most proud of him of who he is off the track. He's got a huge heart, and I think he's disciplined, and I think he works hard and I think he's an all-around good guy. I feel like I'm in a position in my life where I don't know that I could be any happier. I'm very fortunate for everything that I have, uh, my friends, my family, an awesome team behind me. I think it's gonna be really cool to sort of see it all come together.